I'll have the usual. Hi, Corey. It's Mr. Matthews, Mr. Feeney. Come on, Mr. Matthews. I like it when you call me Mr. Matthews. That's what you used to call me when I was a kid. That's, that's what I want. Fine, Mr. Matthews. Okay, well, come on, stand by the fence. Your best advice always came right here from the fence. Hey, Mr. Feeney, what you doing? Okay, what can I do for you? Okay. Topanga's got this job offer. Okay, she, she's got an internship at a law firm in New York City. And, and she, she turned, turned it down, down because of me. Wait a minute, how, how, did, how did you know that? What if she didn't turn it down because of you? Of course she did. You're wrong about this one, Mr. Feeney. You're really slipping. Okay, this is your moment. Now get me, get me. You see that flower? Yes, a garden metaphor. I love the garden metaphor. I just love it. That flower was in a small pot in my living room, but it outgrew its surroundings, so I transplanted it here in the garden. Seems like it's doing okay. Oh, yes, it's flourishing. Now, Topanga always thrived here. She was successful in whatever she did. Here. Well, I, th I think she'd be successful anywhere. Do you believe that? Yeah, of course I do. Does she? What? Did you know that before she decided not to go to Yale, she came to my office to talk to me? About me, right? She, she didn't want to go to Yale because of me. Yes, that's what she said. You mean it wasn't about me? Now, when I pulled the flower out of the small pot in my living room, it, uh, it resisted a little, you know? It tried to hang on by its roots. I had to force it out. Because you thought it would do better out here, in the world, right? No, because I thought if I left it there, it would stop growing. You're putting my puny plant in the ground? Your plant, though immature and undeveloped, has within it the potential to grow and flower. With the help of a proper gardener. You think so? Oh, yes. As long as no one wishes it ill. 